G'day guys, Max here from FM Scout. This video is about my custom training schedule that I made recently called uh, Evidence-Based Training Schedule, uh, which has just been uploaded on the FM Scout website. At the moment, the schedule is designed for FM22, uh, but when FM23 comes out, I will be releasing an updated version for uh, FM23. Here in this video today, I will be explaining how I came up with the design for the training schedule. Um, I will go through, I will go through uh, uh, its main aims and purposes, and I will also be addressing uh, some of the common questions that I've been getting uh, about the training schedule. Okay, let's start by having a look at the schedule together. Uh, here it is, evidence-based training schedule version 22.1. Now, I know this schedule looks uh, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what is this? Only eight training sessions per week. So many empty slots uh, lying around everywhere. Whoever came up with this kind of schedule must be out of his mind, right? But trust me, guys, every single training session that you see here in front of you is there for a reason. Now, a lot of you will know that I have my own uh, separate YouTube channel called uh, Evidence-Based Football Manager. Uh, for the past few months, I've been running uh, various types of experiments, testing every single training session uh, in FM22 uh, individually and uh, trying to determine exactly which attributes uh, those training sessions boost and the amount of boost that's exerted by uh, those individual training sessions. Long story short, I've found that the combination of three types of training sessions, attacking, match practice and resistance, can boost the most number of player attributes, as well as achieving the greatest amount of boost uh, in both player attributes and CA. Now, it's a bit difficult to explain in full detail how I've arrived at how I've arrived at that conclusion. Uh, it will probably take me like 20 minutes to explain it in, in full detail, and I don't wanna put anyone to sleep. So if you guys wanna know um, the full details on my experimental process, do refer to my YouTube channel, uh, Evidence-Based Football Manager, and uh, yeah, you will be able to find more information there. Anyway, attacking, match practice, and resistance are the only sessions you need to stimulate the growth of your players as much as possible in FM22. Now, my schedule is based on a, a two-match week uh, with those two matches happening on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you have two matches happening in a week, you really don't have uh, you really don't have many slots left for training. So eight is really the maximum number of training sessions that you can afford to have in uh, a two match week without uh, you know overexerting your players. This is why my schedule only contains eight training sessions per week. But if you only have uh, for those other weeks where you only have one match or zero matches uh, in the week do feel free to throw in some additional attacking and resistance sessions into the schedule. And uh, yeah, that can benefit your players even further. Do keep in, do keep in mind that uh, more training sessions uh, equals higher risk of injuries. So you don't have to feel obliged to fill up every single empty slot uh, in your schedule with training. Now, this schedule is designed to be a one type fits all. So you can use the, the schedule at any point during the season, pre-season, mid-season, international break, uh, the week leading up to the, the Champions League final, like it doesn't matter. Um, there's no evidence that the pattern of player growth in Football Manager is any different during the pre-season or you know, at any other times uh, during the season. So um, yeah, this training schedule, you can use it any time uh, when, you play football, uh, when you play FM22. Now, I'm going to address two common questions that I've been uh, receiving about this uh, training schedule. First one is about the use of recovery sessions. With all these empty slots lying around everywhere, why don't I just fill them up with uh, recovery? Because, uh, you know, it, it might uh, speed up the recovery of your uh, players, right? Well, before I released this schedule, I did run some tests regarding the benefits of recovery sessions. And it turns out that uh, recovery sessions in FM22, uh, they are, uh, let's just say that the use of recovery sessions is not evidence-based. And I'm not going to recommend uh, doing anything in the game uh, if, I don't have, if I don't have any evidence to uh, you know, back up their, uh, support their use and its benefit. So yeah, that's why I didn't uh, include recovery sessions in this training schedule. The second question that I get a lot is regarding the use of defending sessions. 
According to my research, defending is one of the most powerful training sessions in the game uh, in terms of the number of attributes and the amount of attributes that, uh, that it boosts. Uh, the benefits of the defending session is actually quite comparable uh, to the attacking training session. And uh, when I was designing this training schedule, it, it was actually a tough decision whether I should go with uh, the attacking session or the defending session. In the end, I went with the attacking session because uh, attacking is better at uh, it's better at boosting a certain group of player attributes in the game that I call Group A attributes. Uh, whereas the benefit of the defending session is spread out a bit more evenly uh, throughout uh, throughout a higher number of attributes. That's why I ended up uh, going with the attacking session instead of the uh, the defending session. Again, guys, uh, it is a little bit complicated to explain. Uh, so. Yeah, again, if you guys want full details of my experiments, uh, do refer to my videos on my um, YouTube channel, Evidence-Based Football Manager. Guys, this training schedule is a work in progress. Although I've spent the past few months researching the training aspect of the game, there are still tons more research that needs to be done. The training schedule that you're seeing in front of you is the best that I could come up with, uh, given the evidence that I've gathered so far but I will be making constant revisions in the future as I uncover more and more evidence about how the game works. Guys, this is probably the last video that I'm doing for uh, FM22. As you all know, FM23 has been announced a few weeks ago and uh, when FM23 comes out, I will probably uh, take some time playing the game uh, before I uh, resume my uh, football manager research. In the meantime, do feel free to leave heaps of comments in these videos and um, I will try to reply to them as, as much as I can. All right, guys, you all have fun with FM23. And uh, yeah, I will see you all again in a few months. Cheers, guys.